thing on the list to talk about. I'm pissed off, you know. I'm pissed off because some of you guys, some of you gals, especially the ones of you located in places where you have guns, you were right. You were all right, and I was wrong. Remember when I said that bodega shop owner that stabbed that black dude that came in with a Miri shirt because his girlfriend was upset that she couldn't get a fucking um, discount or take the fucking chips on credit, and the boyfriend came in on smoke, and the old bodega man just yanked him up, beep, 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 chiffed him up real quick. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Do you remember when I showed you that video and you guys all said to me, oh, yeah, he's, gonna get, he's not going to get murder charge, he's going to walk free? Damn it, you guys, you are all flipping right. You're all right. You're all bloody right. So it's courtesy of the New York Times. It says as follows. But they got a clerk who, for who fate fatally, who fatally stabbed man will not face charges. Crazy, isn't it? After weeks of mounting pressure, the Manhattan District Attorney on Thursday, sorry, on Tuesday morning dropped a murder charge against Bodega Clark who fatally stabbed an attacker. Jose Alba, 61, killed Austin Simon, 35. <laughs> Yo, getting killed by a 61-year-old is so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, shit. Getting killed in a... How much, how much do Amiri t-shirts go for? Like $400 or some shit. Getting killed in an Amiri t-shirt over a pack of chips by a 61-year-old. Mr. Simon had gone behind the counter at the Harlem Bodega and shoved Mr. Alba after he had argued with Mr. Simon's girlfriend over paying the snacks for her 10-year-old daughter. So there was a kid in the car when it happened. Oh, my God, man. The fucking emotional and psychological scarring, man. Imagine that. The district attorney, Alvin L. Bragg, charged Mr. Alba with second-degree murder, spurring the city's tabloids, and eventually Mr. Eric Adams to come to the clerk's defense. Rotted. So I was way off then. The fucking mayor was out here backing him. All the newspapers were backing him too. Yeah. Mr. Bragg and his, and his office were criticized for initially requesting a 50000 sorry, half a million bail, which prosecutors said they asked for because Mr. Alba had been planning to leave the country. <laughs> but Mr. Alba's supporters said that he was defending himself from a younger man who was an aggressor and should not face charges. In a, notion, in a motion to dismiss the case filed on Tuesday morning, the district attorney's office said that it would be unable to prove beyond reasonable doubt that the defendant was not justified in his use of deadly force. The case will not be presented. Ah, oh, okay. That makes more sense then. They couldn't prove without a reasonable doubt that um, he was not justified to do it. I understand. I understand what they mean now because that's what I think I was missing when I was defending the Bodega guy because I was just, I was kind of viewing it from the side of the guy that died and being like, you know, there was no way that they could prove he was a threat. But of course, there's no way that they could also prove that, you know, he didn't use reasonable force because the camera doesn't show what was actually happening in front of him. Cool. Mr. Simon's family spoke with the district attorney of the office on Tuesday morning and condemned the decisions. Of course they would. We are clearly disappointed with it and can't understand how it's okay to take another man's life. This decision is dangerous. President, uh, Miss, uh, uh, Miss, uh, sorry, Miss Mayor Adams signaled his approval and he said the following. The DA, in my opinion, made it the right decision on Tuesday. Mr. Alba's attorney said that the Neighbourhood Defender Services of Harlem asked for privacy and said that he looks forward to moving about freely and spending time with his family. Miss Alba and father and grandfather immigrated from the Dominican Republic in a search for better opportunities a fair five years ago at the US and became citizen eight years ago. Da, da, da. The one thing we know for sure now, nobody is ever, is ever, 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 ever gonna try and jack anything from that guy's shop that guy's shop is solidified no one's gonna ever try and move to him the legend of that man will live on and on it'll be passed down to his children that shop was gonna be solidified no one's gonna try and ever step to him again never again never again but i don't know man i'm just i'm just looking at it from the guy's point of view thinking like what kind of idiot would rock up to a shop to go defend your woman hop behind the flipping uh teal and not be prepared for anything that's going to arise from that situation. You can't turn your back to man. You can't turn your side to him. If you're on that kind of smoke or you're on that kind of time hopping behind flipping tills, you're going to have to go all the way. You're going to have to go to the end. Like, you have to go, like, okay, cool. I'm going to fucking cave your head in. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to stomp you out right here, right now. You're going to wake up in the hospital bed. Do you know 
what I mean? Your mom's going to be crying. You're going to be on a t-shirt, air sprayed and shit. You're going to have to decide. You got to go really, really far. You can't just go down like, yeah, what are you doing? You should have let her get the chips and start pushing and doing all this nonsense because he's 61. He's thinking, look, if you get one solid bang in my check, because I remember someone saying that on Twitter, if you, you never know, he could have a pre-existing health condition. You punch him one time in the chest, he's done. So he's got no change. He's got, he's got no way to move around it. Do you know what I mean? So I get that side of things, but... For me personally, I just when I saw it the first time, the thing that was didn't make sense to me was like, how can you, as a person who's getting into an argument with somebody, you're in an argument again. Forget the forget the. For me personally, I wanna I wanna say this one thing. For me, when I was looking at it from a dumb, naive, uninformed European person's point of view, I'm just looking at it from the point of view of two adults arguing. Right, they're having an argument. Maybe there was some physicality involved because the guy was kind of over him, lurching and being a little bit intimidating, but they're having an argument. They're arguing very aggressively, but they're arguing, right? Then out of the blue, one stabs the other and kills him. That's what I thought. Okay, that's a bit mad. But of course, you know, you can't be hopping on, uh, you know, it's a, it's a till. You can't be jumping in his till and just, you know, doing that stuff because that's obviously invasion of privacy and whatnot. And you got what's coming to him, innit? I guess it is what it 